Friends, in today's video, we are going to see the comparison between PT and FT. From this video, you will know some differences between PT and FT, which will help you in your interviews also. So, don't skip the video at all. Let us see the first comparison full form and functions. Friends, the full form of PT is pressure transmitter. Whereas, the full form of FT is, flow transmitter. Pressure transmitter measures the pressure of a process line, tank or body. Whereas, flow transmitter measures the flow of any process line. Friends, actually, all the flow meters are flow transmitters. But, today we will understand, DP type flow transmitter. In these, the next comparison is, measurement, pressure transmitter measures only pressure. Whereas, flow transmitter measures differential pressure. Meaning, it measures, the pressure difference between two points. Friends, in the left, a pressure transmitter is shown. And, in the right image, a flow transmitter is shown. Flow transmitter measures the pressure difference between these two points. Next comparison is, process connection. There is only one process connection, in a pressure transmitter. It is mounted directly on a process line, or, tank. Whereas, flow transmitter has two process connections. Next comparison is, which type of pressure is created? No differential pressure is created in the pressure transmitter. Only pressure is created in this. Whereas, differential pressure is created in the flow transmitter. Friends, you are shown here in the image. See in the right side image, this is the flow orifice plate. Which creates differential pressure. Next comparison is. How is differential pressure created? Friends, because in pressure transmitter, differential pressure means, DP is not present. That's why, no DP is created. Whereas, in flow transmitter, flow orifice is used to create differential pressure. This question is also asked a lot in interviews. In flow transmitter, which instrument is used to create differential pressure or DP? So, you can reply, flow orifice is used to create DP, in flow transmitters. Friends, in this image you have been shown some types of orifice plate. Like, concentric, eccentric, and, segmental. Here you will also understand the use of flow orifice. See, this flow orifice is installed in some pipeline. Suppose, the diameter of pipeline is D1, and, the diameter of flow orifice is D2. The pipeline before the orifice plate is, the upstream line. Suppose, here pressure is P1, the pipeline after the orifice plate is, the downstream line. Suppose, here pressure is, P2, the pressure difference between them is, P1 minus P2, which is denoted by, delta P in this image. An arrangement is shown, with a three-valve manifold. Next comparison is, output. The output of pressure transmitter is usually, 4 to 20 mA signal. The output of flow transmitter is also, 4 to 20 mA signal. Pressure transmitter works on, linear function. Whereas, flow transmitter works on, square root function. Friends, this is a very important difference, and, you have to keep it in mind. Friends, that's all in today's video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.